Hi, I'm Billy from Sweetie Darling and this is how to make a carousel cake. So I started off by splitting and filling an 8 inch round vanilla sponge. This was then crumb coated, chilled in the freezer for about 20 minutes and then brought out and crumb coated again before I iced it with a pastel blue fondant. Uh, I used corn flour to stop it from sticking, not ice and sugar. I tend to find it sticks a bit less with corn flour than it does with ice and sugar. And then this was laid over the cake and smoothed that with smoothers until it was nice and polished and had nice sharp edges and no fingerprints or little divots in it. The next part which is going to elevate the top of the carousel is to ice a dummy, so this section in here. Um, this I just rolled out some ivory coloured fondant and then brush the dummy in piping jelly and then roll the fondant round. Now to get rid of the seam you just need to buff it, so you need to push and overlap the fondant and then buff it with your fingers, buff it with your smoother until you can barely see a line there. If you have still got a bit of a line, it's not the end of the world, put it to the back. Every cake has a back, um, so mine hasn't got a back. <laughs> no, I'm joking, every cake has a back. But you, you can get the seam out if you work it hard enough, otherwise there, for this top section, I stuck two 8 inch drum boards together with a bit of double sided tape, brushed it in piping jelly again, and then laid from it over and iced it as I would a cake, a very, very small cake. Um, so I used my smoothers, trimmed the edges off, and then set it to one side to set. Now I've used a mould to get my scrolls and swirls and my picture frame picture frame mirror frames on, on the inside of the carousel. Um, the, the main, the, uh, all of them are marvellous moulds except for the uh, mirror frame one which is, I want to say FPC but I'll, I'll put it in afterwards where it's from. The rest of them are marvellous moulds. With the gold I use an alcohol. It's Polish. Spiritus Rectifico Wayne Rectified Spirit. This is a 95% vodka, so this is not messing around. It's strong. You, I think it's for drinking, like for mixing with stuff, but I wouldn't drink it, and I don't think you should drink it. I don't think anyone should be drinking this. So it sounds horrendous. Um, the smell of it is enough, but it evaporates off really quickly. So if you paint some gold with it or any colour with it, it will evaporate off pretty much instantly and just leave the colour behind so it's good for getting colour into your cake and then clearing off. So this isn't a huge alcoholic cake now, that bit's gone, it's just left the colour on there. So that is what I use, 40% vodka, all the normal ones you get like, um, turn off, stuff like that. Not quite strong enough, a bit more gentle on your liver but not quite strong enough to paint with. Now before I added on the dummy I in a way dabbed the cake, so I just used clear plastic drinking straws. This isn't heavy, what's on top of here. It's a dummy and two boards, so it's not a huge amount of weight. If it was a lot of weight, I'd use real plastic dowels, but for what this is, the drinking straws would be absolutely fine. They're not gonna go anywhere. They're not gonna collapse underneath that weight. So I just did three of those, cut them to the level of the cake, and then stuck the dummy on with some royal icing. The horses I got done ahead of time, they're using a mould which I actually got on eBay and just typed in carousel horse mould and it's a really pretty one so I just did five of those, you can do as many as you want or as many as going to suit your cake and painted them with food colours and alcohol. Um, now the gold I've used on here and on other parts of the cake is it's Claire Bowman gold, it's really really lovely but it's technically not edible, it's non-toxic so it can't harm you but if you use that gold you need to tell your customers to take those bits off their cakes before they eat them. Um, it just covers you, obviously you don't want to harm them. Um, but it is it's such a pretty gold, I would paint myself in that gold if I could. So to support the horses I've got these straws here. Now the inside bit are paper straws, so you get them in really pretty designs, polka dots, stripes, chevron stripes, they're lovely, they're really really nice colours and they look good, but because they're paper I don't want to push that inside the cake and then the paper goes soft and when the customer goes to cut it, there's sort of 
Do you know, like paper gets when it's wet, it's just not nice. You wouldn't want that inside your cake. It might be quite difficult to remove. They might be fine, they might stay hard, but I'm risking it. So I've pushed those straws inside clear plastic drinking straws and then pushed those inside the cake. So the paper straws are protected by the plastic ones and therefore I know they're not gonna go soft inside the cake and everything should be removed really easily. So I've pushed those in roughly evenly around the cake, so divided into five equal spaces. And then that is what I stick my horses to. Now because I did my painted edge gold up here, I didn't want to leave it plain, so I've piped some little pink royal icing hearts. That's how to make a carousel cake. Thank you so much for watching. There'll be new videos out every Monday, so if you like it, please click subscribe below. There are links to my Facebook page and my Instagram page, which I promise to do much better at. I will keep constantly updating those and um, with some hints and tips on what's going on in the Sweetie Darling kitchen. Hope you enjoyed it. See you soon. Bye.